Hi, this is Lee, and um, I have this uh, canvas here that um, I poured a while back, and I don't like it. Uh, I don't like the way it, it ended up pouring. It's from the compartment I made. So what I've done is um, my plan, I started putting trees on it instead of having the trees where you take away the paint and you have it pour underneath. These are two um, like that. So I decided that I would do the opposite. Um, I would paint the trees on it coming together. And um, so I think I need a lot more trees, but I thought I would go ahead and put it on video. Um, so what we're seeing right now are branches as though we were standing at the foot of the um, like tr trees that have been like in the fall they don't have any leaves and we're looking up in the sky and um, we're seeing the trees the tops of the trees it's kind of hard I'm trying to explain that to you and so the background the pour is the clouds um, so I'm hoping that as I paint it it looks more like what I'm talking about so I've had, I'm using um, dioxazine purple and some um, from Liquitex. And I, I have a little bit of um, uh, Craft Smart uh, Violet in it just to make it where um, it doesn't dry quite so fast um, so I can get the little tiny lines. So I'm using these three brushes and so far this has been the, the brush that makes the tiniest branches and so um, I've tried to put the, the main branches on first um, and I'm going to continue to do that and then go back and make the little tiny ones like what you see uh, here uh, and that's going to have to either be bigger so it can be seen from a distance um, or just a lot of them. Um, so far though uh, it, I've just begun, so um, I've put some paint on the lid of this so I don't have to have all of the paint exposed. Um, it's very thick paint, uh, as you know. But I have no Floetrol or water in it. It's solid paint, so just keep it on the lid here. And um, so I want these branches to have a lot of uh, movement in the, in the way that they come out. Um, and so far, most of them have been more smooth than jagged. Um, however, sometimes I'll have like a broken piece that's jagged. Um, uh, and instead of starting a tip, I try to go the opposite. So um, I don't know if you can zoom in, but if I started the tip like this, there wouldn't be, um, the branch would be fat right there and that's not realistic so if I just go like this while it's still wet I have an opportunity to make it where um, that the branch looks more realistic um, I could go even further um, coming off and uh, usually branches um, stem away from the, you know, like the, they make the same pattern. Um, but in some cases, they will go down. Like in this case here, it goes down because it's like maybe at a distance of this branch, for example, um, is shooting downward.
have two coats of Liquitex uh, that got kind of gummy on me when I did it. I did the first one with uh, gloss, and then the second one I did with medium and gloss, and then it dried really, um, like I said, sticky. So, um, I went ahead and sprayed it with a uh, satin finish, uh, uh, aerosol varnish, and it did. It, it really dried it up. It's not gummy anymore um, uh, yet. I decided not to put the varnish on the other one I decided to go ahead and put another coat of the gloss on it I thought maybe it was from having the gloss and medium um, and I think that was the problem because just putting the gloss on uh, was um, it stopped making it be sticky or kind of uh, rubbery. However, so that was the third layer, fourth layer. Um, however, uh, it had like lines in it, not from the brush, but from having so much, almost like it was uh, cracking. So I went ahead and put a fifth layer on, not so thick. And the fifth layer looks really good. Um, I think I like using resin more than the varnish. Uh, the varnish spray is really easy. Um, I just think that uh, I'd like to be able to use the Liquitex varnish that I had purchased though and I think it looks nice when when it's done correctly it's just really hard for me to seem to get it on correctly okay so now I think I need a I need some branch from here to here to come in I think with the noise in the background I'll, I'll give us a break too I'm just going back and darkening my branches. So I try to get fresh paint, put it right up against the edges. I don't know where. 
left and the right, and then go back and get the middle. And if you can get the glare to be right where you want it, you can actually see where the paint uh, is wet and hitting the edges. So you go right up to the edge. You don't want it to be where you've got this real faint line on the edge where it either overlaps and that's the first and only layer of paint. You also don't want to go um, inward a little bit to make it where everything else is dark but that one strip um, you missed getting close enough to the edge and tree trunks can be all jaggedy and uh, rustic doing something like this though um, I'm trying to make a point to get it where it's smooth uh, so that it's pleasing to the eye um, to see the figures that the tree branches and tree trunks make rather than having jagged edges that might look like it's more hairy because um, that's going to be more obvious to see um, the jagged edges. Even the branches that are um, curved. Like in here, some of these branches that are curved, I have to go through and redo those. Uh, they're going to look odd if, um, if there's um, too much jagged lines too complicated for the eye so this brush is too thick for this so I dump it in the water and I get myself one that's kind of like in the middle of the thick and the thin one oh this one looks like it's Still too thick. I have the perfect brush. I have it in my head. I see it. I just um, haven't found it in my container of brushes. So I think I'll stop and I'll look for it and then catch up with you. So um, I've gotten a little bit more done for you um, it takes a long time to uh, make the little little branches um, so I'm using this nice brush let's see if I can get you to be able to see how fine it is right there it's a nice long hairs anyway I've got the uh, paint on top of here this is um, dioxazine like straight out of the tube with a little bit of the Violet from Smart uh, Craft Smart um, to make it a little bit um, wetter so that I can um, like make it thick mm -hmm. yet yeah, and go over it a couple of times uh, right out of the tube. Um, sometimes it dries so fast that um, like I have it on the top here I get a little bit on this um, stick and put it on the top so I can use it to paint with and, and not have it um, um, dry so fast so I'm doing each little branch um, over again and then I will add branches to it um, just to fill it in uh, so you see less of the background <laughs> Um, my hope is to, um, sorry about the dolly barking, um, my hope is to make it look 
like branches um, are coming in and the trunks, um, like you're standing in the forest and looking straight up. So the branches need to be like kind of clumped together in certain areas. Tell my paint is getting thicker because it doesn't want to do the little tiny lines at the end. But if they're so tiny, you can't really see them until you get close up. And I know some people use um, pens. I've used uh, like liquid uh, fabric paint before. I could use that out of the tube. Actually, it might be. Uh, nice to get some of the the lines on uh, it, it would be quicker than the brush um, so I I'm gonna make the uh, trunks a little bit thicker I think so that it gets like this this one right here um, gives you the sensation that it's um, really going steep and fast up. Whereas some of these that are real skinny um, look like you're more um, next to them instead of them being so much taller. So I'll just try to do that now, just make some thickness at the base. Still looks good. And I'm, I'm doing the sides. Stelly's got her ball. It's, it's just playing with the, the light. Um, well, it's not a ball. It's a calm. You want me to throw it, honey? Okay. I heard it drop, so give me a sec and I'll toss it behind me. Maybe I should just use the solid dioxazine purple and not put any of the thinner paint in it. Maybe I wouldn't have to go over it quite so often. I really want to get this done though so it can go um, with the uh, um, videos that um, go to uh, Heather Maynard's um, tree. Uh, I, I don't know what it's called when you paint the whole canvas and then you uh, take the paint off while it's still wet and you make a tree with the paint that's coming off. And you reveal the colors underneath. Um, I, I have two of those. Um, I've downloaded one so far. So by the time you see this one, um, two should be on the internet. All right, let's go ahead and get this one. Go off in this direction here. have one coming here. It's a little one. I really like this, the real fine lines. If I can get them to be nice and dark. I might look at the fabric paint and check it out, see if I can 
also make it easier on me. Give you give you guys another break while I make some more um, progress here. It's it's a long process. Um, very enjoyable though. And I really like doing this. It's very comfortable you know you can do it while you're visiting on the phone um, you can um, get lost in not being able to finish your sentences So I like to push the, the paintbrush backwards like you just saw right there, like this, and it gives it like some natural um, knots, some natural positioning. Gives you that little it catches, um, gives you a little bubble of stuff when it comes out of the bottle. Nice and thick, very dark. Allows me to branch off. another put it on here putting it on the paint is makes it like glide on there's no paint underneath it's much lighter she drops her ball and wants his attention and then Jerry gets the ball and she gets all upset Dolly is definitely much more of an, an emotional, expressive dog than Jerry. Jerry's very laid back and unless you ruffle him up, then, then he's, he's, gets, he can get intense. Okay, so like this is nice, tiny little leaf, little branches right here. This is nice. So this is as far as I've gotten so far. I need to add more to it. Um, but I want to be able to post it so far. It's a lot of work. I'm wondering if I should put more trunks or more of the branches get people's recommendations and then I can move forward. Oh, the lighting is so harsh. That's too dark. How about there? How about that? You can let me know what you think. <laughs>